That is crazy. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, we're camping in our biggest hot tent yet. This thing is huge. It measures out at 29 feet long and eight feet wide. This, like I said, this thing's huge. It's six feet tall at the peaks and about five, 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 where it dips down in the middle. So what we did was, Jay ended up getting the Lone Wolf Hammock Hot Tent from Poe Molly back in November. And then I saw one for sale on Facebook and I ended up picking it up. So of course, what, what popped in my head? Putting them together. <laughs> so each one is 14 and a half feet long. So you add them together, that's 29 feet long. With a six foot peak, it gives us seven feet coming down or seven and a quarter feet coming down with an eight foot base. It's over 250 square feet of floor space in here. The thing's huge, guys. We set it up yesterday. It took us about an hour to set it up, but it wasn't bad. And we have the ends covered too, so we have a doorway on this end. We have a massive stove in there that kept us warm last night. We showed up last night. It's me, Jay, and Billy. Jay and Billy are inside. Uh, we'll see them in a second. We set this up and we enjoyed ourselves last night. We had some beers, we played games, so we had a good time. It's Billy's birthday week, so we went camping for Billy's birthday. So right now, let's go inside and check out our crib. All right, so come on inside, guys, and let's check this out. We have one of our vintage poles sitting right here, creating our doorway. It's back here. And then, come on in. So as you enter, we have Billy and Jay's bedroom. Billy's over here, Jay's right here. And then we have our chilling area here, guys. This is like our living room here. And then we have the stove area. This stove is doing a great job right now heating this place up. I want to say it's like 90 degrees or over 100 up here. We'll check out the thermometers in a second. But then back here, back here is my bedroom. I had my cot back there. This is a chair. Jay was actually sitting in it earlier, but... Look how big this space is, guys. This is crazy, a crazy big space. We got a big stove to heat the whole thing. This is the Nyko Alaskan stove. It's 24 inches by 12 and 12. It's a, it's a big stove for a big hot tent. But let me know what you guys think of this big hot tent. Look, how we put it together, it's just so cool. We have another drop cloth in the back there and that's covering that end. It's just, it's working out great. We made a massive hot tent last night and we're enjoying every minute of it. We're probably gonna end up making some burgers later, so you'll see that. Play some games later, drink some beers, and have a good time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and stick around. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah. Oh yeah, Billy has a broken foot, guys, and we had to, we didn't have to, but we we, pull, we pulled him down this hill in the sled so he could get down here with his broken foot. It was fun. <laughs> Let's see if I can see the heat coming out of there. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the heat coming out, and there's Jay shirtless. <laughs> 125 at the ceiling, 73 right there. And you can see the heat just coming out of here. It was hot. <laughs> 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 Definitely closer.
We got burgers and potato and egg salad for dinner. Cheers, guys. That is, that's delicious. Oh, all over me. Let's try the potato egg salad. Mm, that's good too. This is from a little market right in town. This is delicious, guys. We'll see you probably a little later. We might play some games later. We've been playing Uno almost all day. We had fun playing that. Oh, we played played bocce ball earlier. That was fun. Jay got really drunk really fast. He chugged a bottle of uh, Captain, Captain Morgan. Morgan rum. Me and Billy drink some beers. Feeling good, guys. The food's delicious. Step two. It's actually round two of step two. Cheers. Just got done eating burgers and potato and egg salad is what I ate. Uh, Billy had a whole can of corn and two burgers and two bags of chips and all sorts of stuff. Cheers. It's a little flat. Oh, that's so good. It's pretty late. I think it's almost 10 now. Yep. Probably play a couple more games, maybe. Maybe watch a movie, then go to sleep. See you guys at bedtime. Cheers. Good morning, guys. It is 8 a.m. We got rain, guys. It's raining. And it was supposed to happen this morning. Just a little earlier than we thought it was gonna. So we're gonna sit in here and enjoy the rain. Until it's time for us to go. Dude's already up and he's got hot water. So I'm going to get some coffee. All right, guys, coffee's done. Cheers. It is raining. I love this sound. You guys know it. Cheers. Ooh. It's some strong coffee. Wow. Nothing like morning camp coffee. Yeah. So it's been cold all weekend, and then today it's supposed to be in the 60s, raining all day. We're supposed to get a break in a little while from the rain, and that's probably when we'll pack up and get out of here. But this is so nice. Billy's still sleeping. Me and Jay are drinking some coffee. Cheers, Jay. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning, guys. The fire's still going. Some water started coming down the pipe and onto the stove, but not bothering us. Wow, it's really leaking over there. Oh, yeah, let me show you. Well, that's just because of the way it's set up. There's like a low spot right there, and it's just collecting water. It's just the way we set it up. It's not the not the tent's fault, but I love the rain. <laughs> I do. When you're camping, uh, the sound is just awesome. I woke up to it. It was awesome. It reminds me of Flubber. Do you know Flubber? Yep. The Robin Williams movie? Yeah. That's cool. Well, that's just water dripping down the outside of the pipe. It's not coming down the inside. Let me see if I can show you. See, it's... It's starting up there and just coming down as a little stream right down to the stove. That is crazy.
You don't need anything out of your bag, do you? No. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the whole tent is steaming. You can kind of see it back here. It kind of looks like smoke, but that's steam. You can't see it on this one on camera. Maybe you can, and I just can't see it. But the whole tent is steaming. All right, guys, so it's the next day. We're almost all packed up. I want to show you how we set up this hot tent and just, just show you how, how we did it. It's pretty cool, and the way it worked out, it was great. Massive hot tent. We had plenty of room. Let's check out how we made it. So this is the seam where both of them meet. This side opened up a little bit on the top there, but it worked out pretty well. There's a grommet on the top I'll show you down at the end. We put a stake down through both of the grommets down into the pole, and that's what's holding the two of them together in the middle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that, that worked out pretty well. Now, let's, the same thing with the end. We put a stake, we put a stake through the grommet then down into the pole. And then for these seams here, look how well that worked out. There is a pole in here and then we clamped it. And it held it freaking perfectly. That worked out really well. I had it all imagined in my head and when the plan came together, it just, it worked, it worked well. So here's the doorway, I'll show you the poles on the inside. So we have three of these main support poles, one on each end and then one in the middle. And then as you can see, these poles are the ones that are holding the, the sides and they're just coming up and it's looped into the fabric and we just clipped it shut and it worked out great. I, this, setup, this setup was awesome, totally great. And you can stand up by the poles. They're six feet tall. We measured them with a <laughs> measuring tape and we set them to six feet. It's pretty cool. This worked out great. We had a good time. Me and Billy stayed up until 3 a.m. last night playing Yahtzee. Oh man, we, we had a good time. Jay got really drunk. I got pretty drunk too. I, I had two rounds of being drunk. <laughs> like we, got, we got drunk playing uh, bocce ball outside. And then we came in, we ate dinner. Jay came down from his drunk. He chugged a whole bottle of rum. And then he ended up passing out and me and Billy stayed up playing Yahtzee and I finished off my beers and got drunk again. We, we had a good time. That's gonna about do it. So if you like this sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'll leave it right here in the middle. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining us on this one. <laughs>